Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and this is Overwatch. Uh, I know. Wait for it to start. Any second now, he'll be back. Any second. He's got 15 kills, 139 damage around with a 46% headshot percentage. There he goes. All right. This is Overwatch. <laughs> Some B-hops coming in. One guy pushing him. He knows he's there. He did hear the footsteps, though. But after the B-hops, I'm a little bit skeptical. And it didn't really lock onto his face. But he knew the guy was there for sure. All right. So he had a couple of hops there. Four hops. It looked like a B-hop script. Feels really smooth. So I don't think it's natural. But we'll see if he does it anymore. One guy, or two guys pushed up a ramp. He's able to tag one of them with a deagle. He's actually getting shot through the smoke a little bit. He's going to aim on Zigzag right through the smoke. Can't even see him. I imagine that's not a lineup. But he's going to spam anyways to make it seem like it is one. One guy planting the bomb. He's going to peek out. Spots one guy going over towards Firebox, but he is going to go down to him. And a couple more hops coming in. It feels too smooth. One, it's just not doing it. Not doing enough. I mean, I've seen people naturally do four. He is aiming on that guy right through the wall. Looks like a wall hack to me. I believe wall hack and B-hop script at this point. Uh, he's going to take some shots at this guy up towards Palace. He does aim on him through the wall, too. One guy there. Waiting for him. The guy starts to peek out. He actually fires a little bit early. Definitely looks like wall hacks confirmed to me. Gonna make a couple of hops over here. He's got a scout in hand, waiting to see if anyone decides to push up that A ramp. Two guys are pushing through Palace. He's just kind of holding right now. See if anyone pushes out on him. One guy out on the bottom. He doesn't actually spot him out, but he takes a shot at him, trying to get him, aiming at him right through the box. And yes, if there was any doubts up until this point that he was using a wall hack and could see through that smoke, uh, they have all been cleared up by this point. One guy still palace drops down. He's going to aim on him a little bit through the wall here and peek out on him. He spots another guy jumping off of... <laughs> um, what is that called? I can't remember. Either way, guy pushing up towards him. One guy firebox. Smoke comes off. gonna take him out through the smoke yeah that's one way to get rid of him uh, one guy left has to get that bomb you can see him through that smoke and just gonna tag him through the box he's not gonna give him any chance here and he's just gonna shoot him through the box there we go all right so maybe someone on the other team is cheating and that's what caused him to toggle on the game was actually really close uh, up until that point I mean even with him winning that round it's still really close but you know it was a one-point game, one-round game. He's going to make his way over here towards the stairs. He peeks out. There is one guy at the bottom of ramp, and he knows that there's someone in Palace. Even without wall hacks, he'd know if there was someone in Palace, but he wouldn't be able to do that, that's for sure. He's going to try to just shoot him right through the booth. It's incredible how spammable this booth is. He is able to take down Iguana, and that's still going to leave him in a 1v3 situation. This is going to be very hard for him to do. And if they continue to take the opposite side of where he's at, I imagine he'll struggle trying to win rounds in this game. Because he is not using an aimbot from what I can tell. One guy over to the right here, he's going to try to spam him through the smoke. He isn't quite able to tag him. And wait, is Hatchet cheating? Hatchet's holding like a fake angle there. So it looks like he's using one of those, uh, what is that anti-aim thing called? Either way, he's using that legit anti-aim. And because he is using that, suspect's not able to tag him. And it looks like he's going to get knifed. Alright, so we can see exactly why he decided to toggle on. I mean, there is definitely a guy on the other team using a legit anti-aim. Maybe multiple guys on the other team cheating. Especially because something that blatant uh, would probably be reported by the other teammates if the other guys on the team weren't cheating. Now he has a teammate that seems to be sliding around. What the hell is this? I mean, this is, this is, well, why we have Overwatch. It's just a shame that Overwatch is so limited. Come on, Valve, let me go through these players and just ban them one by one. Every single one that I see using cheats. <laughs> Man, I could clear out, like, seven people this game. <laughs> Alright, a couple of hops come here towards the middle. Uh, takes a shot. Guy's on the other side of the boxes. I mean, he's following him through it, trying to tag him up through it. Wants to peek this perfectly. 
But he is worried that AWP will get him. He's going to try to peek it as fast as he can. That scout's got great movement speed. Oh, he wasn't quite able to connect. Even with him pre-aiming through the wall, he wasn't able to connect. Either way, he was able to get him when he jumped up to the top there. And that's another round for the CTs. A little hop comes in here. He's going to look over here towards ramp. One guy comes out. That was a nice little flick. Almost looked kind of locky to me. But he is able to take this guy out in Palace. The other guy on ramp goes down to his teammate. Now he's just kind of holding Palace. There is one more guy. AFK and Terrorist spawn. I imagine, though, they don't know where the last guy actually is. So they're kind of worried he's going to sneak up behind. That's why he came over here towards middle to check it. Uh, last guy was spotted up in Palace. And, well, now the AFK is moving. He's only got a Glock. Even if he has cheats, he has a really, really hard time here. And he's going to go down. Alright, score, 12-9. to 9. The suspect is definitely walling. His teammate is moonwalking. Well, I don't even know if that's moonwalking. His teammate is sliding all around the map. Uh, I imagine it's Pelican? Wait, who was that? Yeah, it's Pelican. Looks like Cat's following him around. He's going to shoot Cat in the face. There's a little bit of a griefing charge. I mean, we could add that in there if we'd like. One guy in Palace, two guys up a ramp. Gonna shoot one over on his way over towards the stairs. He's able to take down Rattle through the ticket booth. He's kind of defensively holding his position right here with that scout and the wall hacks. All right, guys. Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Minor disruption grieving. He did technically grief, but it's not a long-term ban. I'm not gonna call it insufficient evidence because the last thing I want is this guy to continue to be able to come back to the game and play. So let's just go to the more substantial ones and report those instead. Uh, major disruption, other external assistance. We, well, we didn't really see him speed hacking. We did see the jumping script, so that's evident beyond reasonable doubt. We saw him b-hop earlier, so bam on that. Uh, moving up towards major disruption, vision assistance. Yeah, he had vision assistance completely throughout most of the game that we were watching and it was blatant as all hell so evident beyond reasonable doubt that is what he will get banned for 100 percent uh major disruption aim assistance on the other hand i don't think he was using any aim assistance he was missing too many shots to be using any aim assistance and even with the walls he was really struggling to get on target so i'm gonna have to go with insufficient evidence on that anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and as always have a great day